Official Russian statements express grave concern over the Hamas attacks on Israel, but the Kremlin has stopped short of condemning the Palestinian militant group. News.com has learned that Russia has referred to Hamas actions in Israel as a spiral of violence but has not vocally condemned them. Hamas militants brutally carried out a multi-front surprise attack in Israel on Saturday, October 7, during which they killed more than 700 people and abducted more than 100 hostages. The day became the deadliest in the history of Israel. Russia has not directly condemned Hamas actions, instead pointing fingers at the West for the damage. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev claimed on Monday that Ukraine had given Hamas Western-supplied weapons for the attack, the Washington Post reports. No evidence was provided. Russia's passive stance is surprising, as the Kremlin has a history of labeling its internal opposition groups as terrorists, and has called Ukrainian counterstrikes terrorist attacks following Russia's invasion. In a briefing this week, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Piskov said, We are extremely concerned. We believe that the situation should be brought to a peaceful resolution as soon as possible, as the continuation of such a spiral of violence is fraught with further escalation of the conflict. The Russian Foreign Ministry said separately in an unattributed statement, Russia is gravely concerned over a sharp escalation of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. The Kremlin has historically supported the Palestinian cause, while also seeking strong ties with Israel, The Washington Post writes. Israel's embassy in Washington, D.C., said the death toll from Hamas weekend attacks had surpassed 1,000, surpassing all modern Islamist attacks on the West except 9-11, according to Reuters. The majority of the victims of Hamas attack were civilians who were gunned down in homes, on streets or at a large dance party.